This is Carlisle's Picks, and this is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4. This is a sound level meter. This is the SLA14 model, and it's used to measure sound levels. Police might use this to give you a ticket for too loud exhaust, too loud stereo system. Um, in, in my case, we use it to measure the sound levels on the exhaust of cars that we record. And this, re this can register up to 130 decibels. Now normally when you get to the higher end of the scale, when I get those kind of readings, I get really nervous because a lot of microphones can't handle that because they have distortion. There's different types of distortion where you have the sound levels are too high, so the gain is too high. You're talking about electronically too high, the voltage is too high. You want to look at it that way. Or you can have physical problems where the microphone is vibrating physically too much. So the exhaust from this car at full RPM, full rev, is creating so much physical vibration that the, the element in the microphone is vibrating too much, causing distortion. Your sound's not that good. So that's why we use the Countryman B3 sub-miniature microphone. And as you can see, this is a Lamborghini Gallardo, one of my favorite Lamborghinis, next to the Murcielago, of course. And as you can see, we've got it mic'd up with the Countryman V3. Actually, you probably can't even see the microphone because it's sub-miniature. Can you tell where the microphone is? Probably not, somewhere in the honeycomb, somewhere up here, somewhere there, maybe inside the exhaust. Actually, it's right here. Probably most of you didn't see the microphone. It's actually right here. If you come closer, you can see there it is. So it's so small, it's actually able to fit in between the body panels here, between the brake light and, and the body here, and the wire can run right through the, uh, the body and concealing it, blocking it from wind, protecting it. You know, it's, an, it's really nice. It's, it's not going to be in the shot. Uh, it's really, really convenient. Yeah, I, don't want, I don't want the microphone in the shot. I need the sound. I don't want to see it. I want an invisible microphone. I also need a durable microphone. This, this exhaust gets it very hot. You get the engine in the back here. It's very warm. Uh, it's an abusive environment. This microphone, the cable is actually made out of Kevlar, which is what you find in a bulletproof vest. <laughs> so very durable. And in one of my other videos, I'll tell you about an experience where this microphone actually, one of these actually fell off the back of the motorcycle while we were shooting, and it got caught up in the wheel next to the brake. And it was mostly intact. Just barely some abrasion on the wire, but it was mostly intact. I got another cable from Sony, a great product, the wireless microphones that we use. But that thing started um, shredding just from normal use. This thing went into the wheel of a motorcycle and somehow survived. The capsule was actually caught right between the brake pads. Unfortunately, we had to destroy it to get it out because the capsule was kind of like an arrowhead. Easy in, hard to get out. But the point is it survived really, really durable, really, really small, and can handle the kind of extreme sound levels. <laughs> 130 decibels, 140, 150, you know, it can handle that cleanly. That's why we use the Countryman B3, and that's why we added it to our top products list here on Carlisle's Picks. And you're gonna see a lot of videos with awesome sound, and this is, the, this is my uh, ace in the hole. Thank you.